The latest now on a potential conflict of interest issue involving Rebecca Grossman and her new defense attorney. Grossman was convicted of second degree murder for the hit and run deaths of two young brothers. KTLA Fi's Kareen Winter joining us now live from Van Nuys. Kareen. Well, Glenn, the judge had a lot to consider during this proceeding. The hearing started at 1.30 uh, earlier today. And at issue, really the big question here, was there a conflict of interest involving Rebecca Grossman? One of her attorneys, defense attorney James Spurtis, who not only represents Grossman, but he also currently represents um, someone else in this case, someone from the DA's office. Her name is Diane Tarrant, and she was charged with 11 felonies for allegedly misusing confidential law enforcement record. So the judge heard a lot from not just prosecutors, but also the defense attorney. Before getting to those developments, um, here's a shot, some video that we got earlier of Grossman's family entering the courthouse this afternoon. Uh, they just left a short time ago. They did not make any comments at all to the media. They looked extremely somber the entire time that they were there listening to um, what was said in this hearing. The family of Jacob and Mark Iskander, they were also in the courtroom today. They sat directly behind me in the courtroom. Mark and Jacob's parents, they listened attentively to both sides going back and forth in their arguments to the judge. Now, prosecutors say Spurtis's representation of Grossman is a huge issue. That's what they were arguing, that uh, his client, Diana Tarrant, was in that prosecutorial chain of command and weighing in on the Grossman case before going on leave with the DA's office for uh, those charges that she's facing. Basically, prosecutors, they were concerned that somewhere along the way in this case, that Tarrant could have possibly influenced or passed along confidential information to Spurtis when she was in command as an assistant district attorney. Spurtis called these claims by prosecutors, quote, a fantastical narrative. He was extremely upset in court it's that Grossman has always been aware that he represented Tehran in an unrelated case. Spurtis, he also argued that people have failed to identify any potential conflict, that he had a divided duty of loyalty to someone with the DA's office. Um, I stepped out right before for our show and at that time the judge he had indicated that right now he didn't see any conflict of interest at all in this case um, and he made sure that he addressed Grossman so we did hear from her in court he asked her a number of questions I'll just run through those for you he looked at her asked her did she understand any possible any potential conflict of interest that was discussed in this case and she said in a gingerly voice she was very quiet um, she responded in a shaky voice saying yes I do he asked her have you had a chance to discuss this matter with your attorney she also responded yes I have and finally the judge asked her if she was um, dissatisfied with anything at all in this case um, and did she want more time to talk it over with her legal team? And she said no. She was happy with everything, that everything um, she understood it clearly. And at that point, she began crying. So uh, very emotional. In fact, um, she let out an, an outburst walking into the courtroom when those proceedings began. She walked by her family members and, it, you know, the, the cries were jolting. Every member of the media stood up and looked and it just showed just how emotional she has been throughout this whole process. Sitting at that table with her attorney, she wiped away tears and she, however, looked back uh, several times. She wanted to see who was in the courtroom and again, looking at her family. Now, a big question going into this hearing, would her sentencing date that's coming up on June 10th be impacted at all? Again, I stepped out early for this report, but it didn't seem that the judge was going to be postponing, postponing or delaying that in any way because he did make it clear that there is no conflict of interest here. So that sentencing date should proceed as planned for June 10th. We'll send it back to you now in the studio.